Hi everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And also thank you to the chat monitors for your help. I appreciate it. If you like the channel, please subscribe and also tap on the bell in order for you to be notified when I'm online or when I put the video. I am here. I hope you, everyone is ready for Christmas. I am not. <laughs> I'm never ready for any for Christmas. I'm always hoping. Hi, Ron. How are you? Okay, friends. Uh, what's the big big news of the day? Well, to me, the big news of the day is uh, the latest news I heard about Omicron is that, please, somebody in the chat, if I'm wrong, tell me. Uh, is that is it's not as deadly. I cap his mom as the uh, the other one or the previous iteration of the virus. So uh, I was very happy to hear that. And uh, also they have new medications from Glaxo, a new type of monoclonal antibody. So, that, well, I guess it's different from the others. And also that pill from J&J, &J, I believe. Or oh, I don't remember exactly who. I believe it's, well, there's a new pill. And, uh, and like I've said before, yes, unfortunately for some people, they're going to catch it. But uh, others, if you follow the... Uh, rules uh we should be okay but i feel we're going to come out all right it's the only people like i've said before uh, i feel bad about uh the medical people they're going to get buried in the next couple of weeks unfortunately hi lucille kendrick okay now the biggest the next big news is uh, and we are not we are not surprised uh jim jordan you know, intuitively, I feel like saying all those guys will testify. They have no choice. Uh, they're going to, you know, the, 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 that guy Perry from Pennsylvania, I believe. This guy is so arrogant. It's unbelievable. He's going to have to eat this arrogance because he may end up in jail. And uh, I feel like saying Jordan knows the consequences because from what I understand, he was chairman of some kind of something at one point. Can you imagine? I was, I forgot he was, him and that other guy who, were, who interrogated Hillary Clinton for over eight hours or 14 hours or something to that effect. Okay. I forgot the guy occupied such a high position. Can you guys imagine? And they wanted to overthrow the government. I mean, democracy, our form of government. Intuitively, I feel what's going to come, what's going to happen to these people who took part in the insurrection, they are not going to be able to escape uh, what they've done. There is no way. They may not get long jail sentences, uh, but I feel like saying what they've done is going is that's a lifetime sentence trying to overthrow democracy right now it may not seem to be too bad thank you very much Pilot smith merry christmas to you too merry christmas uh it may not look too bad because of the tr the way trump is behaving and by the way trump is changing uh, his tone i'm sure some of you have heard but we'll get, we'll talk about that when i'm done with this the thing is and i feel jim jordan is beginning or has he has been feeling the pressure and thinking he's been thinking about what's to come as well about his future because 
today the base is giving him a pass or pe and, and people like him it's not going to stay like that this is going to change and the more people and you know the other thing that's putting him i'm sorry I'm, I'm i'm seeing pictures so i have to talk i have to put it in those three generals who wrote the article and are going on tv and talk about what happened and the military should be ready and uh plan for the next one all these and they, those guys are not afraid they are mentioning names so they you know they're not, they're not taking any prisoners these people those mil former military commanders former of, former officials okay of the government that are speaking out and to what i feel like saying are having a major impact on how people are viewing jim jordan perry uh, bobert all these people it's it's <laughs> Right now, it may not look like it, but things are going to turn on these people. And I don't know how many of you watched uh, Mado last night, the way Republicans. Thank you very much, Deborah Miles, for generosity and the super chat. Deborah says, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Thank you. Uh, the, the, the way she was, she spoke to a lady from Texas, the way that AG went after her. And we, I'm not surprised. That guy is so corrupt. It's not funny. But the point I'm trying to make is there is a breaking point and I, I, I feel we are there. People are watching. If this guy can go out I've tried to indict this woman for no reason, what else won't he do? Where will he stop? And also in Michigan and other, and other places, Republicans intuitively I feel like saying state Republicans are beginning to look very very bad in the eyes of people who voted for them. Uh, it may not look like this now, but to me it has begun when people, uh, because you see, it's not the entire base who's fixated on watching Fox News and OAN. Yes, there's a group, you know, that's what they do, and I've always said there's a small percentage of them it's a lot of people, whether it's 20%, 10%, it's a lot of people, but that are stuck on Fox News and OAN. These people are not going to change. And that's, the, that, and that's the way they behave and they carry their, you know, that's the way they live their lives. Uh, they're stuck in the past or whatever it is they have on their mind, they're not going to change it, and that's fine. But the Republican base is going to turn on these people, and it's coming. So the Jim Jordan of this world and that guy Perry and those who are going to be called in front of the J6 uh, Commission, they will talk. It's a matter of time. Jim Jordan is so frightened, it's unbelievable. He's going on TV and talk because that's what he's used to do. He has to put, and also it feels like to me they have to put a brave front. Yeah, watch them crumble. That's my prediction. They can do whatever they want. It, 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 it's not going to last. And the other uh, person is, I don't know, guys, I've been telling you for weeks now that Trump is terrified. Trump said two things about the vaccine this week. It feels like to me he's been looking for an off-ramp and he has found it. And trying to get, because he has realized instead of growing whatever it is he needs, because I don't think he's going to grow, he's done politically. And uh, as a businessman, he's done as well. It's too late. He's changing stri uh, stripes now. He is claiming that, uh, well, he had an interview with that. There is this woman, Candice something, uh, who interviewed him, and he basically let her down in some ways because she was expecting him to badmouth the vaccine and say people don't need it. And he was saying, well, people have to get the vaccine. That's the greatest thing that was ever created, whatever. You, we know how that goes. And, uh, and he's saying to the woman, the people who are dying are the unvaccinated. It's on uh, Twitter. 
you know why Trump is doing this? First of all, he's terrified about what's coming. He's looking for an off ramp. He's looking to see if he can make new friends. Since this is something that everyone is saying, you know, you can help the country and this. So he's now he's trying to embrace. And, you know, look, his base is dying. He's killing them. And the report that came out the other day that says uh, many more people from the red states who, or who voted for him are dying. That's not a uh, thing that when, when he read that report or he heard it, you know, he was shocked because he needed every single one of those people. But they stuck on Fox, on Fox News. So two things are motivating Trump. He finds an off-ramp. Maybe he can do something to save himself. Continue to pretend that he's going to run in 2024. And he's terrified. He, this guy, I'm telling you guys. Uh, and yes, we will find out. What's, there, are, there are reports that are out. They are saying, you know, he's raging behind the scenes. Since he doesn't know anything else any better, raging is what he does at the people around him. But, uh, and I read something this morning that, uh, according to three legal experts, that Garland is, will probably give Trump a pass. Do you guys remember I said at one point, Garland is hoping New York and Georgia will indict Trump. And if he can just tiptoe, <laughs> I didn't say tiptoe, I'm doing tiptoe today because it's, I think it's, you know, it's funny. He can tiptoe away, okay, and disappear and do nothing. There is potential for that. But I feel intuitively there are too many people at DOJ who are really pissed, first of all, for two, you know, Trump, when Trump was president, the way they, they felt, the way Trump treated DOJ, basically, okay, and they are angry. There is an anger at DOJ towards Trump and his sycophants, and they don't see how Garland or why Garland should give him a pass. So that is what's going on at DOJ, and that's why Garland, uh, it, and to be, I feel like saying when I focus on him, you know, it, whenever he feels like he's looking for a way to give Trump a pass, he doesn't know how to do it. It's difficult for him to just say, let's move on, and also people are calling him inept. He, he, he shouldn't be in the position that he's in today because he can't meet the moment all those things. They don't vote well. Just like the Supreme Court as well. The, the, the Supreme Court, well, the Republicans, they don't feel very good about themselves. The things that are being written about some of those justices, Gorsuch, uh, Corbett, Kavanaugh, these people, and thank God I include Thomas too. They, they don't feel respected. And it, you know, they, 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 some of those people, you'll be surprised. Yes, they go to work, they're making good money, but uh, they're not proud of themselves. Like the Democrats, they, 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 they're not compromised. These people feel, and to whatever you want to focus on them, they feel as though they are compromised in some ways. They always have to look over their shoulders and not too many positive things are being said about them. And also, believe it or not, they, are, they care about their legacy. RBG uh, was a giant. And not too many people on the Republican side can come close to being cherished the way RBG was. And yes, it affects them. And uh, one second. The next, oh, one thing I forgot, to, I, mean, I meant to, uh, 
Guys, did I mention there was a congressman that uh, he basically came out and said he regretted, voted against uh, uh, confirming Bi Biden? I don't remember if I mentioned that yesterday, but I wrote it down again. Well, the reason why I'm bringing it up, I don't know if I said it yesterday. Intuitive, intuitively, I feel like saying, do you guys remember I said the people in Congress there is going to be a split between the Trump side of the party and those who can't stand him. And intuitively, I feel like saying the gentleman who said he regretted voting against confirming Trump, it's another crack that's being shown. The others will come forward and say the same thing too, and then the crack is going to continue to get bigger. That's what I feel. This is the beginning. I mean, we know they are not united. They, are, they have to follow uh, the leadership. But a lot of them are getting tired of following the leadership. A, a leadership that's taking them to the down a snake pit. So what that guy said, he's not the only one. He's the, he just happened to be the first one to come out and say it. But they, 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 a lot of them behind the scenes are talking the same way, saying the same things. So, intuitively, I feel this is the beginning. The next reference, I, I wrote this down uh, because I felt uh, this, this guy is in major trouble. He simply hasn't realized it yet. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, that guy who killed uh, those two uh, young man and uh, injured another. This guy is being used. The I fear intuitively there is major depression coming for him, and I would not be surprised if he gets involved in, because all the hoopla and everything he's getting today is going to die down. I wouldn't be surprised, number one, if he gets himself into trouble with the law again. Number two, I feel like saying there is something with alcohol and drug issues that's going to, you know, on, I, I wish, I hope I'm wrong, but he's, he's going to get involved with these things. You know why? Because he's going to have difficulties coping. Uh, first of all, when the people right now who are taking him around and making him feel good about himself. And, you know, from what I understand, Charlie Kirk says he's Jesus reincarnate or something like that. Close to it's on Twitter. When all these people, they no longer have any use for him, this guy is going to go into a major depression. And no one is going to pick up the phone anymore when he calls because... They just use you and dump you. So give him another year, six months to a year. And also, uh, it's, gonna be, it's not going to be fashionable anymore for the Republican Party, first of all, to keep to, uh, people like Boebert and Gates and these people within their rank. They're going to kick them out, okay, because... The Cheney Wang of the party is going to win, all right? And uh, once that change takes place, they kick these people out, they clean up the act because they know they can't continue the way they are go things are going today. And people are noticing, and they are being called the violent party. They are terrified of that label. But I feel like saying there are two people that are going to have to be removed. That's the way I am getting it. McConnell is going to have to be removed. He's going to be going. I'm just saying he's going to have to be removed. However he leaves, he's going to have to leave. Uh, and the other guy and the house. Okay. Uh, those two leaders have to go. And then once that happens, and no, it's, they're not going to be replaced. 
according to people like Liz Cheney, who is going to be very influential when this change is going to take place. Anybody right now we see in the leadership in the Republican Party, they will not be there. They, they can be, they probably be and still be serving as congressmen or senators, but they will not be in any at leadership capa uh, capacity. They will not be serving in a leadership capacity because of everything that we know transpired over the past five years, if not plus, and also the direction of the party. And yes, Liz Cheney, intuitively I feel, uh, he's, she's going to have a couple of other people as well, will lead the party out of where it is at. The guys that are there right now, forget it. They don't stand a chance. Today it may look like uh, Liz Cheney is an, outsi uh, an outsider and people are complaining. Give it another few months. L wait when after uh, the Jim Jordan of this world, Trump, are called to testify, you will see the change that's going to take place. Uh, Liz Cheney is going to play a major role. And also, people like Rittenhouse are going to be dropped. And that's when this, this kid's life is going to take a downturn, among others. Like the Charlie Kirks, who think I'm not uh, these people, they, they, him and Cotworth. By the way, Cotworth is getting divorced. <laughs> I'm so surprised. He, he's, I mean, you know, I, it happened to me too. I, I, I was married for a year. To, you know, it's, it's tough. Okay. But he is so arrogant. In my case, it's not because I was arrogant. Uh, my ex-wife, you know, uh, her mom thought I was too ambitious. So I reminded her of her husband who was an ambassador so, and he used to, he was a womanizer. So she thought I was like, I would turn into him, you know. So uh, I just came home one day my, after about a year. She decided she didn't want to be married anymore. But I, you know, I, I don't want, to want anyone to want to think that I'm just dumping on this guy, judging him. But when you go around calling women vessels and some of the things that he's saying, uh, I, I am not surprised. And him too, every time I see him, He's going to be uh, chased out of the party. Things are going to be over for him, too. And I'm seeing uh, liquor bottles. And also there's a health issue that's going to come up for him, too. Cartworth, that is. So uh, the future is not looking very good for Cartworth. And Rittenhouse, among others. Charlie Kirk, the money is going to dry out because Trump will not be the way it is, the way, you know, people will not view him. Well, not people, the, his base. The majority of his, of his base will turn on him. They, you know, they, they, he's gonna be view, viewed as a charlatan, a con man, those type of ways. He's not gonna be as popular as he is today. So my prediction is I hope those guys enjoy the 15 minutes that they have uh, karma is coming. And I can include in that the same thing for Marjorie Green, Bo Burt, Gosart, Jim Jordan, Perry, all these people. Yeah. Uh, the future is not bright for them. And to what degree, that's my, uh, that's my prediction. And someone else, someone asked me a question. What? Oh. Wait. Oh, guys, Jim uh, Clyburn tested positive, but thank God he's vaccinated. I did not know he was 81 years old. Oh, my God. I hope I, when I'm 81, I'm like, <laughs> I can do the things that he does. In any event, I thought I would mention that. Uh, oh, yes, that, this is what I wanted to mention. 
I don't know how many of you have heard, but uh, there is a, the, our military has developed because they have research uh, departments as well, just like in the organization. They develop a vaccine uh, that will be cap that is capable, or it's like one fits all. Whether it's a, any variant, any variants coming from uh, COVID-19 or any SARS viruses, will not be able to escape that one. So, I'm not sure if it's on the test at what stage it is right now. But from what I understand, it's going to be out in the not too distant future. So, now I will look for look for questions. Greta, can you please give me a call well, if you have a chance later, please? Okay. I'm looking for questions. Please, speak, friends, uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It's one of the data points that YouTube uses to position my videos, so it would help me a lot if you were to uh, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> Sanjay Peterson says yes, and his trophy wife, who agrees with everything he said, has probably had enough of him. That's true. Oh, you know who thinks he's going to be president, you guys? Ted Cruz. Oh, my God. Also, Ted Cruz. Oh, I, 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 whatever tea those guys are drinking, I want some of it. Ted Cruz had, gave an interview. It's on Twitter. Uh, he's saying he should, if Trump doesn't run, he should get the next nod. I, I, I just can't believe what this, you know, what the head is at. You go every, you go out every day. Well, basically, he's one of the insurrectionists. Okay, and he does everything to prevent this country from moving forward. You think you're going to be president? And they went to Harvard, by the way. Harvard grads. Yeah. I only went to Iona. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. Sorry about your sister-in-law, Tracy Rowe. Okay. Yes, I agree with you, GM. I may mispronounce your name, Gettold. Uh, Ma'am Gettold says, how about Candice Owen? She's uh, disgusting. What's going to happen to her next year? I don't know if it's going to be next year exactly. But all these people, okay, Candice Owen, trust me, don't even worry about her. Because, you know, <laughs> I got to measure you what I'm going to say. She's not very bright, intuitively, I feel, and when I look at her, okay, Trump has given these people a stage. Once Trump is gone, you know something? If you're a black person, intuitively, I feel like saying two things. You can become a prominent in two ways. You sell your soul, but that will backfire on you at some point or you are very bright, like the Oprah's of this world, okay, and other prominent black people who are really, you know, accomplishing great things. Candy Owens has none of those things. So intuitively, I feel like saying, watch the, you know, her fall after Trump lives. Okay, yeah, I, I don't like her either. Thank you very much, Twain Abenard, for your generosity in the Super Chat. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Yes. Sorry, friends. Spam. Anyway, next, let me look for the next question. So don't worry about her. She's, yeah, she's the one who was interviewing Trump at Mar-a-Lago, and uh, I feel Trump let her down because Trump didn't go along with some of those... Uh, Bologna, she, she, she was hoping Trump, she, 
she did not expect Trump to be promoting the vaccine now, okay? And it seems like she was disappointed. I didn't, you know, I, I'm at a point in my life right now, if those people, I give them two seconds of my time, and that's all I have to spare with them. I am being very conscious of how I spend <laughs> my, my precious days, okay? So I didn't look at the whole clip. But uh, people like Candice Owen are not going to go too far. Okay. Dennis Thomas is saying, during Watergate, the Republicans backed Nixon until they no longer couldn't. The same thing. Yes. Until they no longer, they no longer couldn't. Same things with 45. You're right. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Isn't it amazing how history repeats itself? Just different players. Exactly, Dennis Thomas. You know, I didn't think about that because I, it, uh, I was here when this whole Nick thing, Nixon thing unfolded, but uh, I didn't, I mean, it was shocking. I, I, I used to, okay, let, let me tell you guys, once, I, around 1967, 1968, Nixon visited Haiti and he drove past, uh, he, drove about, he drove by about a, about a mile from my, from my house. I thought that was the biggest thing, you know, and I appreciated the fact that the guy was president of the United States and he came to Haiti. So I was really disappointed when I came here, when I heard about some of the things that he did. So at first I started watching and after that I lost interest and those days were not, oh my God, my life was terrible. <laughs> you know, you're new to this country, you know, and, uh, learning everything, you know, and uh, you had, and school, oh my God. So it was a tough, it was a tough time for me in those days. Oh, rough. So I didn't, I didn't, uh, it, you know, the, the things were not, not like today. We have 24 hour news and uh, internet, everything at our disposal. Even if, I, if, even if we had that in those days, I wouldn't be able to afford them anyway. I, I could barely eat. <laughs> so it would have been, <laughs> I'd probably miss out on a lot. So it never dawned on me to make, yes, I know, you're right. I hear a lot of people who read a lot about that, those eras or who live through them, that era or, or live through them, they, on, they, they know. But I, I, for some reason, I have difficulties making the connection, but you're right. Uh, and that's what I feel Trump is trying to do right now. He's trying to pivot, but it's too late. The damage has been done. And if you guys notice, there is a report or uh, there's an article that came out. I think the reason why I didn't post it on the community tab is because I, f I think it was in the New York Times. And if you, don't, if you don't have a subscription, you can't read it. That's why I didn't post it. But yeah, there is a major article that came out basically saying Trump's selfishness, selfishness and his ineptitude caused the death of so that, that thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And even the CDC at some point was uh, terrified about how many people, because of what Trump was doing and his kids, Kushner, Ivanka, you know, they, they thought they were selling shoes. It, 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 uh, everything it, uh, had to be worded a certain way so that uh, they don't look bad while people were dying. So uh, all these things are hitting him at one, Trump at once too. First of all, the people from the red states are dying, and they, you know they say they voted for him. That is base, and number of data points that is that are affecting him right now, and he doesn't see his life getting better. Yeah, it's a very selfish thing that, well, we know that, okay? It's all about him. That's why he's pivoting, nothing else. Don't, don't, don't believe the lie. Okay. Let's see. Grace says, orange guy got rid of the pandemic plan that Bush had put together. Yep, bad, 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 exactly. 
The lecturer Storm is asking Milo, will you be doing a show on Saturday? It is Christmas Day. No, Saturday I'm off. Sunday I'm off. I'm looking forward to those two days. <laughs> Unless something major happens. Uh, Dana Sauer says, LAPD, LAPD never showed when MAGA guy threatened poll workers, refused to wear mask, had to clear polling place. Uh, you know, unfortunately, his name is Shannon, one of the policemen. I believe it's Shannon, one of the policemen. Uh, the guy with the beard, thank God he has a good job. It seems like CNN, CNN scooped him up as one of their uh, police something. But he's got a good job at CNN. But he quit the Capitol Police. Uh, and he was talking about something like that. It is unfortunate, but a lot of cops uh, are Trump fans. And instead of rallying against, you know, instead of rallying around him about what happened on uh, January 6th, a lot of them are siding with Trump. Uh, so he left the force. But thank God for him, he's got a good gig with CNN. So I'm happy for him. I'm sure some of you know who I am talking about, the gentleman with beard. Phenom. Thank you very much, Sandra Peterson. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. And you know, that there, there are a lot of cops, a lot of policemen who, you know, who are Trump, uh, who are Trumpers. And they are scary. Let's see. Tracy Rowe said, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Orlando Velasquez, I'm sending my light. What's, what happened? Hi, oh, okay, Orlando. Orlando said, hi everyone, I am asking for prayers, absolutely, for daughter Jennifer Marie Velasquez. Oh my God, she's in the hospital right now, uh, diagnosed with having a stroke. Oh my God, Rolando. Well, hopefully if she, they got there on time. So keep our fingers crossed. I have a friend of mine. He was caught on time. That was at least 25 years ago. He had a stroke. Two friends, in fact. Uh, one had a heart attack. One had a stroke. And they, thank God, those guys are fully recovered. They, they got them on time. Yeah, one is probably 78, 79 now. So the other one is a little younger, but yeah, they're doing good. So we'll keep you in our prayers, Rolando. Sorry about that. Stay strong. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yes, it's in the music. Diana is asking Milo, do you see any convictions coming for any higher up congressional folks after the televised January 6 investigation <laughs> talk? Oh, yes. Uh, some people will go to jail. I, you know, that's one thing I have not done yet. Focus on who's going to go to jail. But over this weekend, I'll do that. Uh, trying to figure out who's going to go to jail, who's going to. You know, I said a long time ago, uh, a lot of people in Congress, even if they don't end up in jail, they're going to have major legal bills, and which is just as bad as being in jail. No, it's not as bad as being in jail, but that's next to being in jail because you have no money. You're broke. Okay, friends, thank you very much for spending time with me. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. And thank you, chat managers, for your help. Uh, if uh, anyone would like a reading from me, the link to my website is below the video, psychicmilo.com. Or you can send me an email at psychicmilo at aol.com. We can negotiate a time that's good for both of us to talk. Or my uh, YouTube number, uh, the one I post at the beginning of the uh, stream, at the video. So. Give me a call if, you, if that's what you prefer. Again, everyone, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for your, for your time. I really appreciate it. It's been a great year. 
Uh, I know it's not over yet, but I'll start saying it. And uh, you know, and I thank you for keeping me going because I enjoy doing this. Again, everyone, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Till then, bye.